All right, guys, so we're going to do benchmark test on both of these MacBook Airs. I've got a 2019 MacBook Air over there, Intel chip based. And then on the right side, I've got a 2020 M1 Silicon MacBook Air. The first test, how quick does it take to get to the desktop? So let's shut both these machines down. Both of these machines do have the exact same version of Big Sur. 11.01, they have the exact same two applications on them that we're gonna use for our benchmark testing. So now that they're completely shut down, I'm gonna boot them both up at the same time and we'll use the video timer to time how long it actually takes for them to get to the desktop. We're gonna wait for the dock to load at the very bottom for it to be a loaded desktop. Boom, that was a really good test. This M1 MacBook Air is way faster than this Intel 2019 MacBook Air. That was a great first test. Let's jump into the disk speed test as our next test. We're going to use our Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test to test both our M1 MacBook Air and our Intel MacBook Air Disk Speed. This will be a good test. It's a great test that video editors generally use. And if you take a look at these numbers up close, the M1 MacBook Air is on the right and it's way faster than the Intel based Mac. In this test, we're going to use the Cinebench app, and this is another free app that you can use for benchmarking, and it's going to run a multi-core test and a single-core test. We've got the M1 Mac on top and the Intel Mac on the bottom, and as you're going to see here in a second, the numbers are drastic. The multi-core is $61.99 versus $970 on that Intel. If we look at the overall specs of this benchmark video, we're going to see that the MacBook Air M1 just dominates everything in terms of speed, disk access, boot time, the whole nine. Check out the Big Sur app compatibility video below as well as the unboxing of the MacBook Air M1. You guys have an amazing day. Take care.